Welcome back to base camp, WNC. Well, we're on this job. Took a little while to get this thing done, but we've set up a rainwater collection system just to be able to irrigate into a greenhouse. They have no well water here or anything, so we're collecting rainwater. We'll be able to fill it up with the irrigation system, but it pumps out of a pond. So um, we'll take you along for the build. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> we got Mr. Will, expert dirt excavator, digging down. This might be where it'd been better to have a, a mini X to do all this. Oh yeah. And we're not done yet. We might get one here yet. Well, a bunch of digging with the tractor, some more post holes, a bunch of shoveling. We got it down where we're gonna about have it, leveled it off. We put a whole load of this real fine rock dust in there to get it leveled. Took the level, went all over it, screeded it out. We're ready to set that tank down. And hopefully that's gonna be about as good as we need to get it. So all we've done, set drill press up. These are just 3 16th inch drill bit, doesn't really matter. We just drilled a boatload of holes. So long as the total amount of hole area equals this whole thing right here. The, suck, the pump on this, uh, suction on this pump is only one inch. So we've got more than enough water gonna be able to flow in. So here's what we've got. We've got an inch and a half steel nipple. That's what they had. We put an adapter, put a short piece of pipe on it. And this will get screwed on the fitting on the inside of the tank. And then this is nothing but a 90 degree. This is the pipe we drilled all the holes into. And it will get glued on there once I screw it in. And what this is going to do is, come on, sit there. This comes off at the bottom of the tank. And we'll have about six inches for all the sediment in the tank and whatnot so that we're not sucking up dirt or anything from the rainwater if it gets in there over time. And we'll have a six inch gap from the bottom of the tank up to where it sucks water in. Well, here it is. Of course, this tank's laying on its side. It'll come up and it'll leave this much room between here and the bottom of the tank for sediment and whatnot to collect. But this will be the intake for the Discharge pump. Well, here it is in place. And uh, I brought it down on the trailer, picked it up with a tractor forks, set it there and flipped it up myself. We're gonna have to do a little bit more painting because it's not quite down to the ground. We hit rock down there. I did get some real fine ground up rock powder and put down in the bottom, made it nice and level and smooth, set the tank down on it. After it was in place, I put the street L's for the pipes coming up. This tank has three holes in the bottom. We really only need two, but I figured I'd go ahead and put a third one in I'll put a valve and a cap on it. If we ever need it, we'll have it already. That way you don't have to empty the tank or dig it back out. This one here on the back corner is where we're gonna dig out some of this hill. We're gonna build a little pump house right here. It will be, this is the one with the standpipe up in the tank is this back one. Cause we are right here by the building where we're gonna get power so we can just trench a little electric line over here to run the pump. It's just one of them 110 volt pumps from Harbor Freight. We're gonna put an extra expansion tank on it because then it only goes from this tank to the high tunnel greenhouse right there. So it ain't got far to pump. One horsepower pump be more than enough for running the hose and they're just gonna run drip irrigation on all the tomato plants. When they get all that going, I'll, put a, I'll post one on that. Well, time to go get plumbing fittings and get going. Well, here it is. We got the tank. I put these eight inch 
plastic culverts around it so that even if you you can still reach in turn the valve on and off and right now we just got three gallon pot lids sitting on top to keep the dirt out but this one here will be the suction line for the pump so of course we have a valve a union and then a check valve so the pump can't push water back in and I always like drawing arrows which way the flow goes so I don't glue it in or put it in upside down. Well, as I said in the beginning, there's there was already three holes in the tank. There's one here that we got to have capped off. We have a valve on this one, which may be, we may put rain gutter on the front of the building. They're not sure yet. And of course, like I said, this is the one that has a standpipe. Comes out, we've got a valve to turn it off. Uh union so we can take it apart check valve with an arrow on it so we know which way the water's got to come came up put another union in and went into the suction end of this little old pipe like i said this pump is from harbor freight it ain't but a hundred one horsepower they're like 170 bucks it's the best deal in town for something like this Coming right out of it, we went from one inch down to three quarter and just put a hose bib in it. And the hose will just come out. We drill a hole. Hose comes out and goes down to the greenhouse. There's a hole there where the electric line will go in. Very simple, easy build. We added to the wood frame with what wood was around here to get up above the pump. This thing will not be freeze proof because it's only watering the greenhouse during the growing season. And at the end, <laughs> they'll be able to drain it and not have to worry about it in the winter time. Well, there it is. Um, they painted the tank. They're gonna have to go ahead and paint a little bit more around here. They'll probably paint the little pump house blue. Kind of matches the farm building right here. They even painted a silver top to match the metal roof on the building. Backfill all around it yeah painted it one for uh looks but the other thing the tank like i said the tank was used it the plastic was getting kind of chalky and uh this will just give them a couple extra years on uv protection and it makes it look a little bit better the tank was kind of opaque might start getting algae growing in it so this way with it painted you won't get algae growth inside the sunshine can't get in there but that's about it. Like I said, we simple project. If you ever need any help doing a project or you need something done, give me a call. Email's at the bottom. Text me or email me, and uh, I'll be more than glad to help you out. But as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it, hit that thumbs up button, and give me a comment. I'll see you on the next one.